Last week, the police department announced six arrests as part of a major heroin cocaine trafficking organization in the city. One of the targets of that investigation, Michael Davis, lives here. During the course of the drug investigation, the police department received information that Davis could perhaps be involved in a dog fighting enterprise. On April 12th, 10 days ago, the police department executed a drug search warrant here at this residence. As we were on the property, it was clear from the animals in the back of the house that dog fighting was taking place, or animals were being raised for fighting. Some of the dogs had obvious scarring, some had open wounds. Uh, it was clear that these animals were involved in a dog fighting enterprise, were being raised for such. As a result of what we found during the drug investigation, today, two new search warrants for dog fighting were executed on this property of Mr. Davis and that of his neighbor. Uh, during the execution of the search warrant today, uh, we are taking some 38 dogs that were found here on the property. The dogs were chained uh, back here in the woods. Uh, there were some barrels that had holes cut in them that the dogs could use for makeshift shelter. Uh, some of them, some of the dogs appeared to be emaciated, uh, that they haven't eaten in some time it would appear. Again, some of them have open wounds. As we also searched the rear of the property, some of the wooded area, we found a dog treadmill back in the woods. We also found under uh, some wood, some bags containing nearly a quarter million dollars cash. It's believed that that quarter million dollars cash is likely related to the drug enterprise. We're going to evaluate all of the evidence uh, that was seized here today. Uh, we're going to have a veterinarian examine all of the dogs through the health department uh, and then determine what criminal charges are appropriate. No charges are being placed today. Uh, Mr. Davis, is already in jail under a quarter million dollars bond in relation to a felony cocaine charge relating to our investigation from April the 12th.